cares what we're doing. It looks like it's possible it's gonna rain, but it's supposed to be a really, really thin band, if anything. So I found this cool, new looking little pond here, only a couple minutes away from the house. I've never been there. It's actually called a lake. Uh, looks really small to be called a lake, to be honest with you. We're gonna give it a go. See if we can get on some bass at a new spot. Do some typical Sunday morning water hop. And this is really the definition of just uh, a quick water hopping trip here. I mean, this place is only 10 minutes away from the house. Just gonna hit it for like three hours. See if we can get on some bass. Um, plan techniques right now are the chatterbait, which I love throwing this time of year. Gonna throw the chatterbait, gonna throw the Texas rigged uh, Rage Craw probably. Maybe a drop shot, depending on what kind of vegetation we're looking at, and uh, just go from there, guys. So stay tuned, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and let's go catch them. Yo! All right, starting to walk out here. Never been to this lake. Definitely some water hopping this morning, guys. Urban, urban water hopping and close. So two fur if this place turns out to be worth anything. All right, we're gonna start fishing. Looks promising. Shallow and dirty. At this point, man, we are surrounded by some absolutely ginormous houses here, guys. Where are we? Wow. One day, huh? That was a pretty damn long walk. I'm trying to get down here, because over here, there's a uh, little bridge. It skinnies down a bit. Looks like we're at least in three to four feet of water now, instead of one to two at that northern half of the lake, so definitely feel better about three to four feet hold on do I hear running water here running water okay this is where we need to be now are you technically on the golf course from the over here I wonder maybe we stay over here clouds definitely feel like if I'm gonna catch a fish here it's over here lake has turned out to be a D plus C minus. It's really nothing outstanding about this lake at all. Now there's a little bridge right here and there's a little pool behind it. I think the pool is part of the golf course and we're not supposed to be there but just can't resist guys. We're gonna go try it real quick. Got a little Texas rig here. Let's go be a little sneaky. I think we're gonna grab some more batteries and uh, go back to the truck real quick, which I say real quick, but we're like half a mile from the truck, so that kind of sucks. But always at least one hiccup we gotta deal with when we're going out fishing, so if today's hiccup is I gotta walk half a mile to the truck to go get some batteries, and that's what we're doing. I'm supposed to run 10 miles today anyways, and I babied out on that because I wanted to go do some fishing. Still gonna run 10 miles tomorrow, but it's supposed to be today. So I better catch some dang fish. Let's go get some batteries.
got our first first large E of the year. He ate this little uh, drop shot right there. Finally on the board. Beautiful little fish. Alright, changed my mind. One more pond. Don't even think I'm gonna grab a backpack, but every time I say that, I regret it, so. Three rods, same three rods, which consists of a Rage Craw Texas rig, drop shot, Kitex swim bait, and a chatter bait. Where to start? Okay, I'm seeing bluegill, so that's a good sign. There's something in here, at least. Chatterbait here. Water clarity is eh. Seems like there's some decent depth here though. I feel like there's gotta be some bass in here. Oh my god. First cast snagged. That's great. Glad I got that out. Whatever that was, was not going anywhere. Depth is definitely better over here. Way better. There's a bass. See how that works, folks? See how that works? Find the deeper water, find the bass. I just saw like a 12 inch bass swim straight out from shore here. We startled some sort of fish over there, probably a carp tailing up in those shallows. A few more casts over here and then we're going to go back to that original corner where I saw those two bass. fish boom baby beautiful fast number. look at that he's got these cool little yellow things going on with his fin there see that that's kind of neat wow cool either way bass number two on the day ate this drop shot right there at a pond right by my house. So don't pass up on those ponds close to your houses, guys. Sometimes they're gonna hold those bass you're looking for. Five minutes from the house, bass number two on the day. Peace. Just came to the other side. I just caught that bass somewhere around here. Big factor when fishing is just hitting things from different angles. So we're still kind of fishing the same area, but obviously now I can fish over here. Oh, I'm getting bit. A little better, a little better. All right, yes, guys, yes. Mm -hmm. Fish number three on the day, beautiful. We were fishing this same area, but from standing over there, it seems pretty obvious to me that these sea walls on either corner here are which holding most of the bass right now, whether that be for the heat or whatever, but first three bass on the year, all three have come on the drop shot. He ate it right away, no two ways about it. Haven't caught the big female yet, but that's bass number three on the day, folks. Sweetness. Seems like these bass are in a mood to eat, so if I give them a moving bait, maybe we can get on this bigger bite. That's the theory, at least.
Yes. <laughs> Guys, yes. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Just hammered it. That's about the same as that uh, third one. So that's the fourth bass of the day. Third bass at this pond. I've only been here for about 45 minutes, but got him on the chatterbait. Breeze picked up. Figured maybe we'll uh... peace. Really a fan of this spot because it's also not only is it a cool new pond that's right by the house. It's not like it's an in inherently special pond. It's just cool new pond. But one thing I really like about it is it's overlooked. It's kind of like off of this main road here. Um, anybody that's coming by and through here is generally either A, walking, running, or in a car or bike because there's trails here. At least today and at least so far in the year, I can kind of tell that really no one's been out fishing here so far. So that's a huge win in my book. I really love when I can go somewhere that's you know, relatively close, relatively local. This one is within five minutes of the house, guys. Five minutes of the house. How can you beat that? The other spot where we caught that little bass in that tiny little creek uh, this morning, that spot was only like 12 minutes from the house. So, I mean, I do live somewhere that's got a lot of tiny bodies of water, really nothing special, but there's a lot of small stuff. So that caters really well into the style of fishing and the way that I like to do things just jumping from spot to spot to spot to spot. You got a lot of opportunities to do that up here. Oh, Hold up, guys. There's like three bass right here. Okay. Oh boy. Guys, there's like five bass. Oh boy, there's like six bass. We're catching a fish right now. Oh, we are for sure catching a fish right now. No doubt. Count the seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me guys. And we're almost at 500 subscribers. So that giveaway is gonna be happening as soon as we hit 500. Appreciate the support guys. Next stop 1000. Let's do it up. 2021 baby. Keep water hopping and I'll see you soon. Yeah.